West Ham nil, Everton nil, mate. Just a poor game of football, really. Oh, I mean, to be honest, I'm surprised I was able to stay awake during that one. Um, we probably just about edged it in terms of chances, but both sides lack quality. Um, we didn't show enough intensity once we won the ball back to kind of push on and hit on the counter. Thing is with Everton is as soon as you let them get back into their shape, they're very well drilled. You know, you look at Deitch's kind of strength as a manager, and it is making sure that his defence is organised once they're in that low block. And uh, it was clear today that we had no intention of trying to counterattack them. Every time we had the opportunity, it was kind of oh, let's just regain some control of the game. We don't need control of the game if we're one nil up and then they can have control and we go away with a one nil win. I know it's not that simple, but it's like almost like our intent wasn't there to hit them on the break and you do have to change things up. You can't always have control of games. You can't always have the ball. You can't always control the tempo from the midfield. Sometimes you have to win it scrappy and that's one thing that we're probably missing a little bit from the Moyes days is when we do win a, a game a scrappy one nil. But like there's, there's a few players out there today that are showing they've really not, not got no confidence. They're like Pakatar is a shadow of the player that we saw sometimes last season. I mean, all season he's been poor. I don't know if that's where the kind of betting scandals kind of hanging over his head, a potential move and things like that. But obviously, when you have one bad performance after the other, it all adds up and it gets to your head. But I thought. Yeah, on a positive note, Somerville was was quality against today. He got the you know uh, an applause from the from the crowd up when he was coming off. Surprise substitution, really. As soon as that, I think he uh, went down know, with he, cramp. Didn't oh, he? did he? I okay. think he, yeah, I think he had a little bit of cramp. So. Well, m maybe reserving for another game. But I mean, I mean, we got we got international break coming up. D do you think though, with this, like you said, great performance from Somerville? Do you think then that should, that's going to be the end of Kudus on the left wing? And, and so Somerville is a left wing. Kudus is going to be played somewhere else. So he'll just put Kudus back on the left and drop Somerville. I think it depends on the opponent. I think if you're playing against a phys, uh, physical team like Everton, you need Antonio up front to kind of rough up the centre backs a little bit. If you're playing against a more kind of fancy team where we're going to hit him on the break, you can play Bowen up top, Kudus on the right, Somerville on the left. It just depends on the opponent. And that's one thing that Lopetegui, although he's made a lot more subs a lot a lot quicker than what Moyes did, which is, a, which is the only positive I can really think of about Lopetegui, it's, it's like he's, he's not willing to adapt to the way he wants to play to fit different opposition. Mm. And like he's been he's been at the club now like what four months. I know that's not a lot of time in football, but you don't really get time in football. And you know, if, if we're not getting the results and you drop points and you kind of look at it and you go, oh, OK, but the performances are changing, you can kind of see what style he's trying to implement, then, you give, then the patience comes. There's been no change. Where is the positive? If, if someone in the comments can name me one positive, one positive since Lopetegui has come in, mm. other than the players that we've signed, in terms of his coaching and his style of play, not one thing... I'll give you one. What, what's that? Substitutions. That, that's what, other than the one that I just said. Oh, then. sorry, yeah. yeah, other than the one you said. Yeah. Other than the one I said, there was nothing else. Signing that's not substitutions. Coaching, that's just game management. Yeah, game management. Right. But in terms of tactics and his coaching, there's one player actually improved under him, not one. Kilman has been excellent since coming in. Yeah. Somerville has been very good. Antonio was good today, to be fair to him. He lacked quality, but I thought he was a nuisance for their defence. But Bowen looked quiet. Pakatar looked quiet. Emerson doesn't look himself without Pakatar in form. Our, our best players from previous seasons have gone backwards. They look worse. Yeah, they do look worse. And to be honest with you, my, in previous interviews, I've kind of said, let's give the guy time. And I still am on that side just about. But I'm really, really running out of patience for this guy. I mean, something's got to start to change. You've, you've had four months, nothing's changed. You've, bought, you've spent a lot of money on some really good players. And nothing's changed. And at some point, I mean, full crook, I mean, when's he going to be fit? I know that's not the manager's fault, but, but we could have paid five million extra and had John Duran, and now he's probably d doubled in value. Do you know what I mean? It's just it's really frustrating. I uh, wish I had stayed at home, to be honest. But, you know, yeah. you've got to come and support the lads. Um, but where do we go from here? I mean, you could sack him, bring in a manager like Graham Potter, give him the international break, but it's not going to happen. We can wish all we like, but... 
they'll stick with Lopetegui, they'll be cautious and we'll probably have another kind of Pellegrini season and then he'll go at the end of the season and it all starts again because that's all part of being West Ham, yeah, isn't it? It's almost it. like us winning the Conference League was just like this kind of fairy tale and now we're back to reality again. Yeah, but back down to earth. Uh, well, hopefully we have another fairy tale soon, mate. But we've got to go through the nightmare. Yeah, it's West yeah, Ham. We'll see. Well, I'm not looking forward to the international break. So who does? Who yeah. does? But Mate, it can't be much worse than watching that, so it might yeah. spare us. No, well, we'll see. We'll see. To be fair, we played a lot like England today, passing it around the back, backwards and sideways, so yeah. nothing really changes there, mate. But no. fingers crossed for the future. I'm trying to stay optimistic. It is difficult at the minute. Something's got to change. Let's hope it does, mate. Yeah. Appreciate it.